Three days away until thunder. Can you it, believe it? it? It's really it just shot up. Oh my gosh. It kind of surprised me last week when someone said thunders next mm -hmm. weekend. Um, and a lot of people I, I wanted to mention our water levels. because We've had so mm -hmm. much rain. If you are someone who usually goes out to the waterfront on either side of the Ohio, it's going to be really soggy if it's even open that night. Yeah, I know our reporter Ian Hardwood at our 930 meeting was talking uh, about some of the river levels that he's been looking closer into. And I know flood stage is right around 23 feet or so. Uh, it's projected to get still stay below uh, flood stage, the Ohio River here at the McAlpin Dam, or Dam in uh, Louisville. But uh, keep in mind that the river level is still pretty high, so that may be limiting uh, just how close you can get down to the river during the waterfront uh, park here during Thunder Over Louisville. So we'll be watching that closely for you. Just make sure you are using precautions if you're near the river at all in the next few days. Uh, we're sitting pretty quiet, though, in the city. Temperatures are sitting in the low to mid 70s, and it's staying uh, real warm outside, to say the least. We're actually going to be on our way today again to the 80s. We were in the 80s earlier on through the courts of this week, both Monday, Tuesday. In fact, Monday we were at 88. Today we're looking at a high temperature of about 84 degrees. We're already still in the 70s. Take a look. We're actually the warmest part of much of the Ohio Valley in the eastern half of the United States. Columbus is sitting at 69. We're at 79 in Evansville. Paducah sitting at 78. And uh, you can also see clearly where that cold front is on our temperature map. Behind the front, that's where we have readings in the 60s and even 50s in parts of Iowa. Now notice we do have severe thunderstorm warnings rumbling across western Michigan. We're going to be watching this cold front pretty closely because as it does meander into Kentuckiana, it may bring a spotty storm or shower late this afternoon. Right now, locally on Max HD radar, we are all quiet, but this is something we're going to be watching pretty closely as we get into later this afternoon. Because notice to the north, there's actually bands of showers and storms by Indianapolis. Uh, we're going to be dry more than likely here, but notice some of these cumulus clouds that are popping up on Futurecast. If these clouds do grow enough, they may grow into a brief thunderstorm and there will be enough ingredients available for uh, one or two storms that do look to ignite later today to possibly turn severe. But again, that risk is staying relatively slim for a spotty shower or storm chance late today. Uh, tomorrow, again, staying pretty quiet through the day. Uh, notice off to the west, though, this is where there will be a better chance for some showers and storms to be rumbling through. That opportunity will be along and south of Louisville. And again, a few of those storms south of I-64 may turn marginally strong to severe again. Uh, this is today's outlook for severe weather, so we're kind of included in that one out of five on the scale of severe weather concerns, so not a huge deal. Tomorrow, the risk is more going to be west of I-65 for that better chance for a stronger storm. We're looking at more of a wind and hail event, possibly some heavy rainfall as well. Uh, thunder over Louisville, but the nice thing is the front's going to be well off to our east for the air show on Saturday. We're going to be enjoying sunshine. Shine. Temperatures in the 60s and just in time for the fireworks, we will be in the 50s. So some sweater weather uh, when it comes to the firework display for Thunder over Louisville. I also want to show you the long term temperature range. The Climate Prediction Center bringing us in warmer than normal conditions later this month and heading into early May. So Brooke, our average high now is 70. Today we're going to climb to about 84. Tomorrow, 83. And then we'll talk about some cooler air into Friday and the weekend. But still looking pretty nice if you ask me. Two thumbs up is what I'm giving it.